fat 2006 uh, Rabbit 2.5 liter. The um, check engine light was on, purge valve, uh, sorry not purge valve, EVAP excessive flow. I already checked the purge valve, it's the first thing that usually um, sets a code for the EVAP emission system. Usually it's an incorrect flow, but in this case it's a large leak and I already did pull the purge valve out. I pulled the purge valve out and um, I checked it, it doesn't hold, it, it basically passes air so it can't, it doesn't hold vacuum when I pump up the uh, suction side. So right now I'm basically going to output setting or basic setting, sorry, 71 and read is closed, test on. So now I'm testing the, I'm pressurizing the uh, gas tank but what I forgot to mention is that I have the purge valve removed, it's still plugged in but the two vacuum lines that are attached to it, I plug those off with um, one with a vacuum gauge and the other one with the vacuum pump set on pressure. So right now the gas tank is being pressurized. The purge valve is commanded to be closed, but again, it doesn't matter because it's not hooked up to the system. Um, and so I'm just waiting for the system test to say test uh, OK. Uh, and again, right now the pump is pumping. Sometimes you can hear it if you're in the car, it's a pumping sound. Right now, field three says testing. Uh, read is open. Um, usually it switches between open and closed depending on obviously the pressure of the tank. And while it's testing, it's waiting for that signal to change. Um, and that tells the computer then if there is a leak or not. The engine is just idling right now. And uh, like I said, if there's no other leaks aside from that purge valve, then where it says system or where it says test on, uh, it should say system, uh, test OK. Um, so we're just going to give it some a few more minutes. Depending on how full the gas tank is, I uh, just switch to system OK. So that verifies to me that the gross leak was due to the purge valve. Because had it not passed the test, it would I would be looking for something else as well. So that's good. Uh, we can uh, log out of this, no fault code, close, and I'm just going to show you where the, um, uh, how I have everything hooked up under the hood. So the purge valve sits right under here, right underneath the air cleaner box. And you can see that's the suction side, I got disconnected, I have my vacuum hose, my vacuum gauge attached, about 22 inches of vacuum. And this is the tank side. I just have my pump, my, my vacuum pressure pump on there. Right now the purge valve is clicking. Again, it, it still functions, but uh, it doesn't seal. So that was my quick, uh, quick check of the EVAP system. That didn't record removal of the purge valve, but you'll see the installation now. New valve, you want to test it, try to blow through it. Can't blow through, that's good. Putting reusable clamps on here. fits one way should have put a little rubber grease on there
can never have too much lube. I think that's what she said. And make sure it pops into all the grommets. And then what I like to do is I also like to clear the codes again one more time and then drive it and let it set readiness on its own. Rather than forcing readiness, I just like to let it go through its own process and pass all the readiness monitors. had to grab the phone sorry and my batteries no nope, there it is but these headlights need to be recharged again uh, so anyways where was I yeah so I'm gonna clear the code set readiness by itself let it do its own thing rather than me forcing it uh, and that way I can pretty much tell the customer everything is uh, where it sh should be because again the computer had no problems checking and setting readiness on its own and that's the old one so the valve sits like this airflow is in this direction so intake manifold is on this side of the valve I'm just going to switch this vacuum pump to vacuum and I should be able to I should be able to va uh, pump vacuum up which I can't if I plug the tube here you can see I can pump a vacuum if I let go. So this valve is defective. It should be holding vacuum right now. Two thousand six uh, Rabbit with the two point five cylinder um, engine. Two point five cylinder, two point five liter. <laughs> Uh, EVAP large leak detected so I took out the purge valve and uh, tried to blow through it and sure enough it uh, it does sort of restrict flow but it lets flow past uh, in order to verify that there's no other leaks what I did was I blocked off the uh, EVAP line to the tank and the one from the manifold so the van manifold one gets vacuum the other one I just put my vacuum pump on it and then I let the engine idle and I forced basic settings for the EVAP so basically let the leak detection pump run its cycle to check for a leak the purge valve has to be connected uh, so that it won't set a purge valve code uh, it passed readiness or basic settings for EVAP leak so I know that the purge valve was the only leak 